What would happen in a basketball game if all the players all came to the stadium on their own, they changed on their own and then they went to the court and they started playing the other team without first aligning their strategy, without first having even a simple huddle, without even first saying hi to their coach. They would get killed and that's what's happening in your company when you're not holding a morning meeting. Now instead of having a score, you have profit and if you're getting low profits, it's the same thing as getting trashed by another company but because there's no opposing team really, you don't realize how how badly you're losing. Hey business owners, I'm Gurat Singh Shapuri. I'm a business coach and a leadership trainer. I've trained more than 50,000 people in how to manage themselves better. And today I'm going to tell you the importance of having effective, meaningful morning meeting. Purpose number one, to get everybody on the same page. Number two, to anticipate and avoid confusion between people whose tasks depend on each other. And number three, to appreciate and reward people in front of their peers. And since you have everybody who reports to you in the same place, you have a chance to go over a new policy you're introducing or to teach people something new that you've learned and the benefit is that you don't have to do this one by one for each person it saves you a lot of time so let's put two minutes on the clock and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about running a perfect morning meeting number one since morning meetings are like huddles you have to keep up the energy and you have to know your objectives what are your objectives to motivate everybody to get information from people to give them vision to give them guidance and to give them the knowledge that they're looking for from you number two realize meetings are resource intensive there's an opportunity cost for everybody let's say a meeting is 30 minutes it's not just 30 minutes of your time if there's six other people in the meeting now you have to multiply that 30 minutes times seven people including yourself and then multiply it by their wages that's the cost of each meeting number three who should be in the meeting if you're the owner of a small business it means your core team has to be in the meeting these are your superstars and even if you're talking about something that doesn't concern a particular person don't worry they still need to hear it because that's what's going to keep them motivated and that's what's going to keep them connected. Number four, always have a consistent tone of the meeting. It cannot be dependent on your mood. The tone of the meeting has to be friendly. This has to be a safe environment. You cannot scold somebody or call them out in this meeting if they're being lazy, if they've disappointed you for any reason. If you do need to call out somebody for being negligent or lazy, you can do that once in a long time in this meeting, but the appropriate time is do it after the meeting. This meeting is about motivation and vision and direction. Remember, always remember you attract a lot more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. Now what's the right length of these meetings? Keep these meetings short and sweet. Otherwise your staff will lose confidence in you. For a five person meeting, the typical length should be no more than 15 to 20 minutes. That's the rule of thumb. I once knew the marketing head of the country's second biggest car company, and he had the responsibility to talk to all the major dealers around the country. He kept his meetings for three minutes, not more and not less. He was very particular, look, Bravery is the key. Now in your meetings, if somebody's trying to hog the attention, you haven't educated them properly. And if you're trying to hog the attention by speaking too long, well then we really have a problem. Set some ground rules and stick to them. If people are asking you for feedback that doesn't really concern anybody else, look, you tell them we're gonna do this one-to-one. -one. Now why am I repeating something so obvious that you already know? Because you have to realize this, you can't ever land into the temptation of doing these things because you're going to dig into profits. Now, now, if you're doing this on a Zoom call, if you're doing this on a video call and you're just educating somebody, realize everybody else is checking their mails and you're wasting everybody's time. Should there be a written agenda? No, because the written agenda is always implied. It's always the same. Look, if you're the head of a small business, you're just getting your department heads together every morning so that you're getting aligned with what they have to do. Now, here's the thing. They still have to send you their to-do lists and their tasks list ahead of time through email or your ERP, whatever system there is. Now you're supposed to just listen to these things, have them on a screen and give them a nod or a nudge. That's all you're supposed to do. And that brings us to our final point, number eight. These meetings have to happen early in the morning. Now give them 15 to 20 minutes to get themselves organized, but make sure the meetings happen in the morning before everybody's already on their tasks. Also, make sure they happen at the same time every single day. Now, generally speaking, face-to-face -face meetings are better than video meetings, which are better than phone meetings. That's it, time's up. I don't know if you remember seeing the movie Field of Dreams starring Kevin Costner. He said, if you build it, they will come. Just by holding these morning meetings, you're gonna be surprised that you're gonna get a tremendous productivity and profit increase in your company. And here's the kicker, you'll get an additional three to 5% 
just because people are aligned with each other better, just because your department heads know the vision of the company and they know what everybody else is doing. In the comments below, tell us your favorite point about today's Two Minute Tuesday video. And if there's a certain thing or point about these accountability meetings that you find pretty useful, make sure you write it in the comments below. People would love to see your suggestions. If you like the concepts we talked about, do take a second and hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel. It goes a long way in telling YouTube's algorithm that other people are gonna find this content useful as well. And if you haven't seen our other Two Minute Tuesday videos, just click over here. And if you wanna see what YouTube has to recommend to you, just click over here. Either way, you can't go wrong. In case you're one of those business people that does hold meetings but not consistently, make sure from this Monday morning, you hold meetings consistently. You're gonna be glad you did it. <laughs>